So Anna, what's anybody going to learn by watching this video? They're going to learn everything there is to know about the recruitment process at CERN, from the application stage through to the interview stage, including tips on how to apply. And is that specifically for people applying to CERN, or do you think it could help others? I think it could even help them if they're looking into other applications elsewhere. So you mean people can watch this video as a whole, or they could actually watch the individual bits of the recruitment process? Absolutely. You can mix and match. You can start at the end and go back to the beginning. It's as you like. Use it as you need. So even if you're not getting an interview at CERN but have one somewhere else, you might want to zoom to that part, and we'll give you some great tips later on on how to do well in an interview. So say a candidate's looking for a job at CERN, where are they going to find them? Our jobs are pretty much everywhere. They start on the website, but then we feed them out to Twitter. So if you just want to subscribe to the latest job opportunities, Twitter's a great place. If you look on our Facebook pages, you can actually engage and talk with some of the recruiters there. And if you really want to discuss around your specialised subject, you can join us on, on LinkedIn. As well as that, we've got our own recruitment YouTube channel, and we've got presence on job boards across all of the member states and beyond in Europe. So seek and you'll simply find. So a candidate wants to apply for a post, what hints can you give them? The application form is really, really important. You don't get a second chance to make a first impression, so really take your time. There's no spell checker that's built in, so make sure your, your spelling is correct by checking it elsewhere. You know, if you're a precision engineer and your spelling is a bit dubious in the application form, it doesn't really add up to us. If you've got a dodgy email address, you might want to create one specially just for the application process. Don't rush it. Don't leave it to the end of the day just before you're going down to the pub. And on your motivation statement, put work into that as well. Tell us why you want to work at CERN. What is it about the organisation, about the job that really attracts you? Remember that you've got to tailor make this. Yeah, too often we can see a rushed motivation or too generic motivation saying, I want to work to get international experience or speak other languages. Well, my local fast food chain hamburger store can offer you the same experience. What is it that drives you to apply to CERN? Be very clear on that and put time and effort into your application form. So the application form has made the grade. What can they expect from a web interview? Uh, that's an interesting phase. You know, we don't have the budget or the luxury to invite everybody to come on CERN, and we get some great application forms. So the first stage is going to be an asynchronous web interview. Asynchronous because we won't be there at the other side of the camera interviewing you. You'll have a number of questions which are going to probe into the eligibility and applicability for the post required. We're not out there to trick you. We're just probing a bit deeper into your application form. And you want to take time in the web interview. So you'll have a number of days when you can apply. Uh, set yourself some time. Be prepared. Choose a nice environment. We know how you feel. It's a little bit nervous doing it, but it's equally nervous for all the candidates, and we'll take that into consideration. But that'll generally be the first approach after having had a successful application. And although it may seem odd to be talking to yourself on the computer, this is exactly what we're doing now, but we're imagining you, the candidate, behind the screen. So imagine someone that you like speaking to and be as natural as you possibly can be. OK, so how would you advise a candidate to prepare for an interview? Well, I think the answer was in your question. It's the word prepare. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Read the vacancy notice, read what the job is about, read a little bit about, about it, and refresh yourself on, on what added value you're going to make, what contribution you're going to make to the specific job in question. Absolutely, and don't forget that CERN has an extensive website about its whole activities, of course, but try and delve deeper and find out about the group so that you can better position yourself and convince the interviewers that you're the person for the job. So, you've made a great application form, you've done the web sc interview screening, now what happens? They come to face-to-face -face interview. Now you need to understand that CERN is a very large organisation, so we organise face-to-face interviews on one day and one day only. We typically interview between four and five candidates. So what's going to happen on that day? Well, first of all, you're going to be greeted by one of the members of the recruitment team and then by the recruiter. The recruiter is going to give you a briefing, explaining everything there is to know about CERN, about employment conditions, and about what's going to happen on the day and after the day. 
You'll then be interviewed face to face, individually, by a panel of members. They're usually between four and five, sometimes six members. We have members from the HR department, from an external department, and from the hiring department. And you've been to interviews before, probably, and you'll know about the competencies that we'll be probing, and we'll be clearly trying to make a match between your profile and the criteria of the post. On a panel interview, sitting as a candidate in front of five or six people, experts from CERN, can't that be a little daunting? It can be, but what we try to do is to put you as much at ease as possible. We're not there to trick you, same as with the web interviews. So we try to put you at ease and we're clearly there in an exchange of information. You need to find out about us as much as we need to find out about you. And how long will a panel interview typically last? Typically between 45 and 50 minutes, and then we always have debriefs in between. What's important to know is that you'll also be having tests, probably. They could be written, they could be practical, but essentially you will be given a visit of the workplace in which you're going to be invited to work in the future, hopefully. And that's your chance to ask your questions. I think it's important also about talking about the tests. To so say, again, the tests are really there to probe the knowledge that you say you've got on the application form. We're not out to trick, they're out to trick you either at the interview or the test, but if you put SQL on your application form, we, we want to test, you know, what level of SQL you know. If you put Java, the same sort of things. So what else can they expect other than the test and the interview? They can also expect lunch. I mean, come on, we all need a bit of downtime, a bit of a relaxed environment to chat, so we'll take you out to lunch as well. And is that something formal? Do you think I should, as a candidate, prepare and dress up and wear a tie? Or? No, I, CERN is quite a relaxed environment, but clearly you need to show respect. If you come in jeans and trainers, we're not going to be very impressed either, but we don't expect you to be dressed in a suit. So we've passed the interview, or we've had the interview, how long will it be before I hear something? Well, typically we give interview feedback within a week or ten days, that's the very maximum. We contact all candidates, those who are unsuccessful and of course the candidate who is successful. And then we'll work them through the various stages of the job offer and of the contract. So are there a lot more steps uh, for the successful candidate? They will have to do a medical examination and a diploma verification, that is standard practice for CERN contracts. And of course, we always want you to start as soon as possible, but we respect that you may have one, two, three months notice period and we can work around that.